is endovenous laser ablation, or EVLA, of varicose veins? Endovenous laser ablation is another heat technique to destroy varicose veins. It was invented just after the radiofrequency ablation that started. Um, it's basically a long, thin uh, catheter that you can see. This is quite a short one, and they come much longer techniques as well, uh, longer versions as well. They can be put up any vein that you want to destroy. So again, you put it through a tiny little hole, a needle hole, use the ultrasound to get it into the right place. And then we pass this fiber optic, the laser optic, up inside it so that the end comes out and into the vein wall that you want to treat. We then switch the laser on, once the local anesthetic has been put around the vein of course, and then we pull it back at a set rate, putting that energy into the vein wall and completely destroying it. What are the advantages of endovenous laser ablation over other methods? Well, over stripping, of course, it completely destroys the vein where it doesn't allow the vein to grow back again. So compared to the old stripping technique, it's wonderful. The advantage of uh, endovenous laser is in a very big vein or veins that have clot in it or veins that are irregular because the laser energy is so strong, it completely destroys those. And we use the endovenous laser a lot. However, what we're finding is, is in a smaller vein, we have advantages with the radio frequency purely and simply because when you're putting the same amount of energy in with the laser you can burst the vein wall and so it does seem to cause more pain and bruising. Of course some companies say that they've got around that with different wavelengths or different ways of delivering the energy but as a rule of thumb we're finding that if you can use radio frequency in a long vein you're probably going to get less pain but if you've got a difficult vein that has any other bits and pieces in it or it's very large or has blowouts you use laser. So once again you need to be able to use both techniques and you need to have the ultrasound to show which to use. How long does the treatment take and does it hurt? It's very quick. Um, for each vein that you use it in, the patient will come in, the patient will get on the table, use the ultrasound, get ready to do it. So that's all probably 10 minutes. The actual anaesthetizing, getting the, the laser fibre into the right place, probably is about another 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. But the actual treatment, when you're pulling back, giving laser energy, because it's so powerful, the whole procedure is about two minutes of actual treatment time. If there's any pain at all, it's purely and simply because there isn't enough local anaesthetic in all once in a blue moon what happens is a little branch or a little tributary coming off the side of the vein can actually come out of the local anaesthetic and some of the little bubbles that are caused, the steam bubbles in the treatment can go up. So once in a while you can feel something but it's very rare. It usually is completely painless at the time. Uh, the only time that you get any discomfort is if you get the bruising afterwards. It can feel quite tight and bruised about two to three days later. Are you left with any scars? The scars for endovenous laser are absolutely fantastic. They're two to three millimetres, very, very small, and they're at the point you put the uh, catheter in. So if you've only got one vein to be treated, there'll be one scar of about two to three millimetres. If you have complex veins with more than one to be treated, each vein that's treated will have a scar of about two to three millimetres, which after about three to six months has disappeared and is usually invisible.